Hi, let's go over some of the contrast um, calculation. Uh, it's calculating contrast sensitivity from contrast threshold or calculating Michelson contrast when you have uh, black and white stripes or gratings. So the formula for that, just to review the formula quickly, so you can calculate the uh, contrast of a target using Michelson's formula. Uh, that is a luminance max minus luminance minimum by luminance max plus luminance minimum. So in other words, it's delta L by delta average. Delta L is the difference between the peak and the average luminance, and um, the denominator L, a L average is the average luminance of the whole grating across black and white bars. So if this is the grating, um, the L average is the average luminance of the black bar and the white bar all of them added together. So that's the uh, denominator. There are also other formula that you need to know is uh, trying to calculate contrast threshold. Um, if you have to calculate contrast threshold, typically in percentage, it's one by contrast sensitivity multiplied by 100. And if you're given contrast sensitivity, it's one by contrast threshold. So it's fairly easy. Generally, contrast sensitivity charts use what is called log CS value. Log CS stands for log contrast sensitivity. If you have log contrast sensitivity, uh, you can certainly uh, convert that back into contrast sensitivity. So 10 to the power log CS will give you the contrast sensitivity of a target. Or if you have contrast sensitivity, you want to convert into log contrast sensitivity, then you just have to take a log of that. So either way, uh, this is very useful uh, when you are measuring or recording contrast sensitivity or doing contrast sensitivity calculation. As you know, the contrast sensitivity charts a MARS chart or the Pelly robson chart, they usually give you the value in log contrast sensitivity because it, uh, it is pretty linear and it's easy to, um, you know, easy to associate that uh, with the values. So here, if you get the log contrast sensitivity, all you have to do is tend to take 10 to the power log contrast sensitivity, they'll give you the contrast sensitivity of the chart. What we will do here is we will work on few problems, one example in each. So the first one, I'm going to take an example of Michelson contrast. So a contrast threshold um, of a sine wave grating, uh, the peak luminance is about 200 uh, candela per meter square, and the mean luminance is 100 uh, candela per meter square. Um, they want you to calculate the um, contrast. So obviously here, you have uh, the target, you have the mean luminance. So you can use the Michelson formula here where you can see it's delta L by L average. Delta L is L max minus L minimum. So if you take this example here, you can see that's 200 minus um, 100 by the mean luminance is essentially 100 here. So that would be 100 by 100, that will be 1. And you have to multiply that by 100, so that's equivalent to 100% uh, contrast of this particular target. So this will be your contrast threshold and it's often expressed in percentage. The reason why we multiply that by 100 is because it's often, uh, it's often um, expressed in um, percentage. Let's see one more uh, example in the same kind where you'll use a Michelson uh, formula. So here is another example. So here you can see the question is asking you, what is the contrast of a grating with a black bar that is a, uh, there's a bright bar that's 80 candela per meter square and dark bar that's about 20 candela per meter square. As you know, the formula is essentially the same formula. You would use the same formula. That's uh, L max minus L minimum. So L max here is 80. L minimum um, is uh, 20. So the denominator will be 80 plus 20. So that will be approximately 60 by um, 100. And you have to multiply this into 100. So that will be uh, 60. So that will be essentially 60 percentage is your contrast threshold. Remember, you have to multiply that by 100. So 60 percentage is uh, your uh, contrast uh, threshold. So the next one. Uh, here, it's asking you, they've given you log contrast sensitivity. So a log contrast sensitivity of a patient is 2.0. They want you to know, they want you to calculate what is the contrast sensitivity and what is the contrast 
threshold of uh, this particular uh, patient. So, here what you have to do is see. So, the formula for this is as you know, you, it is very simple to calculate uh, contrast sensitivity from log contrast sensitivity. So, you can calculate contrast sensitivity is 10 to the power log C s is 2 and that is equivalent to 100. Okay, so, the contrast sensitivity is 100. Now, you want to find out contrast threshold. So, contrast threshold as you know, contrast threshold is 1 by contrast thre sensitivity multiplied by 100. So, that is essentially 1 percent. Okay. So, 1 percent is your contrast threshold for this particular um, target. We will do one more problem, um, similar kind. What is the contrast threshold um, if the patient contrast sensitivity score is actually uh, 50? So, very similar. So, you know the contrast threshold uh, needs to be determined here. So, that is 1 by contrast sensitivity score is about 50. So, that is um, contrast threshold is 1 by 50 multiplied by 100. So, that will be 2. So, the contrast threshold here is essentially uh, 2 percent. That is your contrast threshold for this particular uh, problem. Next, we will go over uh, dark adaptation, um, how to calculate a cone recovery following a bleaching of bright light. So, here we are going to go over dark adaptation following bleaching of a bright light. How much as cones have recovered? The formula is very similar for rods. So, before we start, the key thing you want to know about dark adaptation is in dark adaptation, if you bleach a, blight, a bright light to a, to a patient eyes, the cones uh, can recover 50 percent in about 1.5 minutes and the rods take little more longer time. So, for 50 percent of rods to recover, it takes 5 minutes. So, this uh, basically, so every um, 1.5 minutes, the cones would recover 50 percent of whatever is left over uh, and 50 percent of whatever is remaining will still remain bleached. So, it is easy to calculate both for rods and cones if you know this basis. So, basically 50 percent of the cones recover every 1.5 minutes and 50 percent of the rods recover every 5 minutes. So, if you know this, we can solve the problem. So, let us go to a uh, question here. So, this question is asking how much percentage of cone has regenerated uh, in a given time. So, what percentage of cone pigment has regenerated in 3 minutes? So, as you know, um, so 1.5 minutes, 50 percent of the cones uh, would have recovered. So, let us see at the beginning there were 100 percent bleached. So, this is bleached, this is bleached, this is recovered. So, initially uh, at time 0, this is time in minutes. So, at time 0, all the 100 percent were actually bleached. So, at 1.5 minutes, 1.5 minutes, 50 percent have recovered, another 50 percent is left. At 3 minutes, that is twice this time. Um, so, 50, half of this would be 25. So, that is actually 75 has recovered, another 25 percent is still under bleached condition. So, if you go to 4.5 minutes, then you have 75 plus half of 25 would be 12.5, that is equal to 87.5 percent uh, would have been recovered in uh, half of that and 12.5 would actually remember. So, here this question is asking you how much percentage would have regenerated in 3 minutes. So, 3 minutes is here. So, you know 3 minutes uh, about 75 percent uh, of the cones would actually recover. So, this is another way to uh, uh, remember this would be you can assume cone to be as uh, your favorite kid Chris. Let us say Chris stole a bag of uh, candies which has 100 candies. Um, this kid Chris will return candies. Um, every 1.5 minutes, it will return half of whatever it has. 
So at 1.5 minutes, it will return 50 candies. At 3 minutes, it will return another 25. That's for half of whatever it has. So that's about 75 percent. At 4.5 minutes, it will uh, return another 12.5 candies. So essentially, you would have recovered 87.5 percentage of the candies in about 4.5 minutes. So this is another little easy way to remember uh, cone recovery. So you can do the same thing for rods, just that in rods, the time period instead of 1.5, 3, 4.5, it will be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because rods take more time to actually uh, recover. Let's see one more example. So in this second example, um, it's asking you how long did it take to regenerate a certain percentage of cone pigment. So a bright, le a bright light bleaches all the 100 percent of the cone pigment. So it's asking you what period or time period it takes for the dark adaptation to recover 87.5 percentage. Because we used this uh, calculation for last question, you can actually use the same thing to calculate it. It's actually fairly very simple. If you look at it, um, at 0 minutes, 100 percent was bleached. 1.5 minutes, 50 percent is bleached, 50 percent is recovered. At 3 minutes, you had 75 percent recovered, 25 percent still left. At 4.5 minutes, you have 87.5 percent recovered and 12.5 percent bleached. So the question is asking you how long did it take to recover 87.5 percentage on cone pigment. So the answer is 4.5 minutes because we have already calculated this for the previous question. So it's very simple. If you write it down, all you have to remember is each 1.5 minutes, um, the recovery is half of whatever is bleached. So sometimes they mean, you know, if they haven't given anything, you can assume it's 100 percent bleached. Sometimes they'll specifically say 80 percent bleached. That means uh, 20 percent is already unbleached or essentially uh, recovered. So that's something to remember. If you remember the basic uh, concept of how uh, you know the in dark adaptation cones recover 50% uh, every 1.5 minutes then you can easily uh, solve this uh, particular uh, problem